What lies between us and a future of fully autonomous cars, besides a whole lot of open road? You know, there's no denying it, we are moving toward an increasingly automated future, and that includes the vehicles that get us from place to place. But we have to keep in mind that we aren't there yet. There's actually a lot of challenges we need to overcome before we have truly autonomous vehicles. The Society of Automotive Engineers defined six levels of autonomy to describe driverless cars. Levels zero and five are actually the easiest to explain. A level zero car has no autonomy whatsoever and is completely under the control of a human driver. Whereas a level five autonomous car would be wholly autonomous and a driver would never have to intervene. Levels 1 through 4 are a little trickier to explain. A level 4 autonomous car is mostly autonomous, except in certain situations. So you might have a restricted area that the car can range around in, like a major city and its outlying suburbs. A level 3 autonomous car would be able to handle most situations, but occasionally have to hand off control to a human driver with ample warning. A level 2 autonomous car would be similar to a level 3, but that handoff would come with almost no warning at all. And a level 1 autonomous car would just have a few autonomous driver assist features. Now for us to get to a level 5 autonomous car will take many years. In the meantime, companies like Toyota are looking at ways to create artificial intelligent user interfaces in the vehicles of the future to shape how our cars interact with us. You see, Toyota doesn't want the future to be a sterile, cold one where we just jump into a metal box that takes us from one place to another. Instead, they developed an artificial intelligence platform called UE and a concept car called Concept I to show it off. Now, UE is all about creating a seamless relationship between a driver and a vehicle. It can measure your emotional reaction, it can make sure that it knows your likes and dislikes, and it learns as you learn. So the more you drive it, the more it learns about you. It might plot a route that's not the fastest, but the most enjoyable way to get to your destination. And it can jump in and assist you when you need it. Let's say that there's an oncoming obstacle that you haven't noticed yet. Yui will. It acts as a navigator and a companion and an extra set of eyes. The whole point here is to try and make a future that we want to live in. One that's warm and inviting and is pleasurable and safe. So we have to be optimistic about the autonomous future, but we also have to be realistic and know that we've got a long way to go before we get there. When we do get there, my bet is we're gonna see something like Yui in those cars. All right, I've got a question for you guys. Imagine that you're on a long road trip in a level five autonomous car. What would you want your car's AI to do to keep you engaged and relaxed during your trip? Are we talking back massages or high-speed action films? I wanna hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it and subscribe to our channel to join the Forward Thinking Think Tank. And of course, huge thanks to Toyota for letting us come out here and experience this firsthand. I'll see you guys in the future.